It is way too hot in Ireland right now. I have sunburn! Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. What is the crack? In today's video, it is going to be a haul of Sephora, Boots, and eBay. So, ow. Did you hear that? <laughs> I just cracked my finger. Didn't mean to do that. So I just thought that I would slap out the makeup, keep the glasses on, because, you know, didn't want to put contacts in my eyeballs. Well, with that being said, let's get on to it. So the first one is going to be from this box right here, from Sephora. It's been a while since I've done an order from Sephora. It was last September, and that was when I ordered my Kat Von D tattoo liner, and I wanted to make that order so I could get the NARS lip pencils as my birthday gift, because um, I'm cheap that way. So that liner's been going pretty much constantly for six, seven months, and I thought, okay, it's gotta be getting to its last leg, so I thought I might as well repurchase it. I love this eyeliner. I know that a lot of people say it's like really hyped up, but it works perfectly for me. It really works perfectly for me because of the nib. It is a brush design. A lot of the eyeliners that I have experimented with are more of a felt tip, or it's too flimsy, or it's too hard, or it's, the formula comes out way too watery, or there's too much product on the brush. This does not do that. It is just the perfect eyeliner for me. I've never used another eyeliner since I, I bought this the last time. I've thrown out plenty since I bought it, but this is just my go-to eyeliner for literally everything because I get to do the perfect eyeliner every single time, and I get to draw all over my face with it because my net and I also got it so that I could take it on holiday with me with the other one if it lasts to June but you don't want to run out of eyeliner when you're on holiday mid flick next up is the entire reason why I wanted to do this order yes yeah, supposed to get the cap on date but that was a little silver lining to it I wanted to get this Anastasia liquid lipstick in the color Catherine now when I first saw Catherine I didn't think it was anything spectacular because it is this color right here. It is like, don't get me wrong, it is beautiful, but I was like, maybe I can find a dupe for it. Maybe, 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 maybe. But the spelling that they used of Catherine really, really spoke to me because it's spelled K A T H R Y N. And if you know me and you've been around my channel or my blog for a while, you will know that that spelling is how Captain Catherine Janeway of the Federation Starship Voyager spells her name. And of course, being the fine girl that I am, I'm like, I need that in my life. I need it in my life. So I made the order just to get this liquid lipstick because Beauty Bay, Cult Beauty and Feel Unique, I think they have Anastasia, did not have this in stock at all. They didn't have any liquid lipsticks at all. So I was like, okay, go to Sephora, get the points. Two birds, one stone, you get the picture. I love the Anastasia packaging. I love this little detailing here, just at the bottom of the lid at the start of the tube. It is so pretty. I've worn this before. I wore this quite once, and oh my goodness, I'm obsessed with it. It works perfectly with my skin tone. It's very complimentary to pale skin tones. And I went to lunch wearing this, and I was eating, and I was drinking a latte. And I was like thinking, oh crap. I'm gonna have just this outer ring of lipstick but then I went to check on it and you know it, it had faded but it kind of faded evenly if that makes any kind of sense and it's not drying at all I didn't have I did have a lip balm underneath just in the off chance that it was drying because my lips are very dry anyway absolutely obsessed with it absolutely delighted with the purchase and I'm so in love next is something that's I think been hyped up quite a bit on YouTube and just around the place and it is the Sephora color switch by Vera Mona and I've seen so many people use this and it's just this little black sponge in here that you use dry and just squirt your brush around in it I haven't used it yet I haven't used it I have to say I haven't used it yet because I haven't done any kind of looks that have required me to change my brush color pretty much the only makeup that I've been wearing since I bought this is just the Maybelline color tattoo in on and on bronze on my eyelids and that's literally it. That's literally just the makeup that I've been wearing on my eyes.
this lately. I hope it works because then I could take it on holiday with me and if you've ever been on a cruise holiday with Royal Caribbean, they have quite themed nights. Um, last year there was a masquerade night, a 70s night, a white party and just all these different themes and of course you have your formal nights and your normal, you know, casual dinner, dining nights. And I took literally every single eye brush I had with me because then I could have ones for dark looks, I could have ones for more colourful looks, blending, on her eye work and just so that I, I could just go to town on my eye makeup looks. And I did have one of these with me which is the B Makeup Brush Cleanser. But at times you know you have to wait for your brush to dry after using this. So if I have this then I could just change the colour instantly. So here's hoping it works. Then lastly from Sephora I got the red beauty blender. I've been putting off getting a beauty blender for I don't know how long because I have the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge. But because this is red, I was like, I have to, I have to. I'm such a sucker for things red or blue. If I have a blue beauty blender, try saying that 10 times faster. Or even at normal speed. You better believe that I'll be getting blue beauty blender. Why did I do this myself? And so this is all the size of it when it comes out of its packaging. And then of course when you wet it and wring it out, it's going to be like twice the size. I haven't used this yet. I'm hoping to use it really, really soon. A friend of mine actually got a beauty blender as well and she says it's been working really well for her. I don't know a lot of people outside of YouTube that are makeup obsessed like me or that have a beauty blender. So we'll see how it goes. And with my Sephora order I got this little envelope with fragrance samples and they just come in these little cards and you have the one on the back and this is the one that I'm most excited about to have in this collection and it is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana in black and white. I think on the back, the back, the sample is the Nirvana white and I am obsessed. I like, my formative teenage years were spent watching Mary-Kate and Ashley movies. I loved Two of a Kind, the TV series, So Little Time, and I just love their movies and I'm obsessed with their little sister Elizabeth Olsen right now. So when this came in the envelope I was so excited because I can't get this in the UK or Northern Ireland because I think you can ship it to mainland England but it can't get, but it can't get sent onwards. I think that's the rule and so I'm really excited about this and I just, how pretty is that? It's such a pretty postcard. So that is it for Sephora. So moving on to my Boots order. So in that order from Boots I bought two of the NYX liquid eyeliners and if you've ever tried to do a white eyeliner in eyeshadow or in with like a cream product it's it's very difficult, well it's difficult for me and a lot of the looks now that I want to do involve white in some way or another. I've tried using the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil on like a nail art brush but it just takes forever and I don't have that great amount of patience. So I thought, right I'll get the white eyeliner and it comes with this kind of a brush here. Now I probably will transfer it to a nail art brush or something um, a bit smaller and a bit stiffer and that just looks a bit more flimsy to me so I might transfer it on, I don't know, I'll test it out. Then I got the Vivid Brights next liquid eyeliner pencil in the shade Vivid Sapphire and it is very, very vivid, just the packaging is very vivid and then this is like perfect blue. This is exactly what I wanted because this is going to be in the look that I have an idea for which is coming up soon. It's another Marvel one by the way. It's not going to be this Friday's one. It's going to be possibly one for next week. And of course like if you've ever watched um, Lisa Potter Dixon's channel she, she does say that blue is the trend for this spring summer. So if there's 
One thing that I don't do is follow trends, but if it's blue, count me in. So that's it for the boots part of this haul, and then I bought something from eBay. No, I just looked up Anastasia liquid lipsticks on eBay, saw one that was selling them, had good reviews, blah 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 blah, and they were actually quite cheap. So I decided to buy one, and I decided to get Heather's, which is like a dark ox red color, and I thought that would be beautiful, it's unlike anything that I have in my collection, even though I forget half the time what I have in my collection. So. I bought it and as I said, remember it's the dark red? This is what arrived. Now can you imagine this on my skin tone? No. Nope. I will just look like I have drunk a gallon of like Nesquik or something chocolatey and I just don't like it. And now the packaging has this color here on on bottom of it, which is what I expected. This is not the same color at all, right? And then even the bottom says Heather's, which is just bizarre because that is clearly not Heather's. So I've emailed, I've contacted the seller and so we can organize something, whether I send it back, they send me a an actual replacement or refund me, I don't know. At the moment, when I'm filming this, they have not contacted Yet, but they have a while longer to do that. Like, I'm, I'm disappointed, but at the same time, I'm sure people are like, oh, well, you bought it from eBay. What did you expect? Live and learn. Like, if they don't get back to me, I'll probably just pass it on to a friend of mine who is a makeup artist for her kit. I don't know what I'll do, but it's disappointing. So, yes, that is everything in this haul video from Sephora Boots on eBay. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like more haul videos, like I know I love haul videos, so I hope you like this haul video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Please subscribe if you are new to my channel. I would like to see more videos from this face right here. Or maybe not, I don't know, you know. Have a great day and I'll hopefully see you in my next video. Bye guys. Please feel free to subscribe to 